welcome, welcome all, welcome all you winners out there, welcome to the official episode 2 of Resident Evil 7 with commentary. Here we go. Hope you guys are ready. I know, I'm, I'm assuming you watched episode 1. It was critically acclaimed by many people. However, many fans out there, a lot of new fans were made with episode 1. And let me tell you, let me tell you this. A lot of hardcore fans, a lot more than we initially expected. It's incredible. And, um... Which one is this? Okay. Um, it's gotta be... Gotta be head to the attic. And a lot of hardcore fans out there uh, made some great recommendations, such as we will be implementing with this episode. Changes such as more role playing. So, therefore, this game is so in immensely horrifying that I can, must confess, in the previous session, the previous episode, I was so rattled by Mia's uh, physical assault on my character that I. I'll, I'll admit what happened was a defense, psychological defense mechanism. I, I removed myself into the third person. As you can hear me say in episode one, I go from being Ethan to saying, oh, this woman who could be Ethan's wife, like I'm, and I, I, and you can hear it in my voice, like I'm disoriented, like I've been shaken out of my psychological state. I've been shaken out of my ego and out of the ego of the character. My, my trauma center couldn't handle it. If you look at it like that. But I will do everything I can for you, the viewer, for entertainment purposes, to stay in the role of Ethan, whoever this guy is. And that means that Mia is my wife. And I'm going to treat her like my wife from here on. And that's This is my pledge to you, audience, my loyal fans. I love my fans. I do it. I do it all for the fans. Now here we go. We're going to get the spark plug. Yes. That's right, spark plug using the only item that I know I have, which is the bolt cutters. So we're gonna bolt cut something. A bolt cut. I'm gonna cut a bolt that needs cutting. First, we're gonna find this bolt. Oh, not in here again. Where's the bolt? Something needs to be cut with a bolt cutter. That's all I know and that's all I care about. Boom. Do what you were designed to do. Boom. That's right, you keep the fuse locked with a bolt. Oh, oh, Mia, my wife, my beautiful wife. Let me help you. Where, where is she? Oh, she's, she's, so, she's the love of my life. It's been three long years. Don't make me wait any longer, baby. I miss you. And now we head to the attic to initiate the, oh! It's okay. It's okay, it's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Oh my gosh. You shouldn't have done that! Oh. It fucking hurts! Baby, please. Oh. What? You're my wife, Mia. Mia, my hand is stuck to the wall. It is... What? No. Let's see what you feel. I don't remember this. Set me up. No. Oh, it's my hand on the ground. Oh, you, you witch. It's my job. Oh, you're out of your mind. She has chainsawed my hand off, my left hand off at the wrist. Yeah. 
is not good. I am losing blood. We are losing, losing blood. Where am I supposed to go to the attic? Where's my, where's my hand? I gotta get my hand. Goodness. Okay. Got my hand. Somewhere? Look at this. Look at this. What? Where the? Where am I supposed to go? What in the world am I supposed to do? I. My hand. I'm saving. Holy smokes, I'm, I'm so freaked out right now. I hope I didn't just save over my old save data. I feel like I did. Like, I don't even know what I saved over. I just, I was just pressing buttons to get out of there. Is my arm okay still? Or? What am I supposed to do to get out of here? I just feel like Mia's just waiting around the corner to attack me. Where's my axe? Where's my beautiful love of my life? Mia? Mia? Do I try and go down the basement? Your left hand cut off by Mia. It's still warm. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, alright. Uh, what can I demonstrate here? I am trapped in this freaky little freak show mansion. And my beautiful wife, who I haven't seen in three years, is ecstatic to see me. She is beside herself. She is so happy. She is so pleased that I am here. And I'm pleased to be here. Pleased to be here. Can I just like run out of the house? What's to stop me from just running out of the house? Like, seriously. Why can't I just do this? Alright, well, that would have been too easy. Just take off what I would have done. See, this is exactly, you see now, this, that's called role-playing, guys. That's called role-playing. I'm just being myself. I'm in the house. I'm like, Mia, where are you? Oh, whoa. Uh-oh. Okay. Now something's going down. I'm almost scared now. I was nervous before, and now I'm just petrified. Handgun? Yes. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. There you go. Okay, fine. And it's got bullets. L2 aim, R2 fire. Gotcha. I don't even remember how to shoot anymore. Okay. If I have a gun with 13 bullets, 12 bullets, I wonder who's going to be getting this. This is horrifying because the, the only enemy I've faced so far is my long lost wife, who I love. And it's just, it's so traumatic to have to face your wife. Um, so traumatic. 
and you know, I just I wish her the best. I want her to be happy. You know, I want her to come back. You know, for us to have a life together. Now. Oh my God, baby, put down the chainsaw. Holy shit! Give me that. You're always watching me. Why? Okay. I'm sorry, Mia. I love you. Oh, I, I am responsible. Oh, my God. oh the only thing that matters now. Headshot, you take. Headshot, they're coming from a place of love. Stay back. Stay back. Oh my god, we love the guy. We love the guy. No. Oh. Okay, coming back. Oh my. Wasn't well, supposed to end this way, Mia. It's that now that's now that's a horror experience right there. Being chainsawed, nothing like being chainsawed. Seppuku, except with a massacre, murderer. At least I didn't run out of bullets. I ran out of. You know what? Okay, fine. Okay, it is fine. It is fine. I'm gonna take the fight to Mia, my beautiful wife. It makes it so hard for me to do this because I love her so much. That's the only reason why I died, guys. Because I love her, and I'm role playing, and I really wanted us to be together. And it's hard for me to shoot her repeatedly in the head as she advances on me. But I understand that's what I gotta do. But you know what? When I see her in the crosshairs, I'm telling you, guys, it's it's my wife. You know, it's my wife. Oh I'm doing this to you guys. I'm gonna kill my wife for you guys. I'm doing this for you guys for entertainment purposes. I hope you appreciate it. Oh! That's what? Oh, baby. Yeah. On my arm. Okay. <laughs> you are dead. Okay. Hmm. See? Do you guys see what I'm dealing with here? I'm by myself with the lights off. Okay, and it is nighttime. You see? Do you see why I can't I like I need to share this with you guys? Because it's so incredibly over the top and it really nails it too. Like wait. Do you see the way that she's running towards me with that chainsaw? The way she's like hobbling at top speed, like Gothica okay, style? Fine. You know, that was a reference to Go I just referenced Gothica with Halle Berry. That movie that came out in like, you know, I don't know exactly when it came out, but it was a 2000s era movie. 
Can you correct me if I'm wrong? I can show you. Um, one health, which I will use as soon as I get hurt. Okay. Beautiful life. Angel, angel of my eye. I'm sticking with the finish. Leave me to die. No. Count me. Count me there. It's so silly. Okay, help, help. Help. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Oh. oh. You were always watching me. Yeah, I get no pleasure out of this. I'm just trying to help you. I'm I'm only helping you. Oh, Did I beat her? Sorry, Mia. Oh, Mia. Oh, my goodness. Welcome to the family, oh. son. She said, welcome to the family, son. Oh, it's the biggest mistake. You're making a mistake, man. You're making a mistake. A big mistake. Man. You guys, you guys are gonna pay for what you what you're doing. You guys are gonna pay for what you've done. My wife, Mia, what you made me do to her. This is so now this next part is I've never. Come on. Been, Don't you die on. on us now? <laughs> You have work to do. They fixed my hand. My, they sewed it back on and it's good to go, it looks like. See, like, look at that, look at that style. That's such an original style. Like, it just brings the, it brings the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It raises the point that it's a, there's a style to the the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie that you can that you can where, adore. where am I like most what the hell rise like and shine sleepyhead it's time for supper oh, who, who are all you people where's Mia eat where's it me? it's good dumb son bitch wasn't no good if it hit him yeah <laughs> His boy's got to eat. He got to have his supper. Whoa. Come here, boy. Just do this. Come on. What is that? Shit, 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 shit. He's not eating it, Jack. He's not eating it. Get the hell up, my boy. I'll save that for him. Get the hell out of here. You're a son of a bitch. Oh, I can't believe it. He's not a bitch. He's not eating it. He's not eating it. He's not eating it. This was supposed to be a very spring show. Feast. This was no supposed boy. to be a feast, but you, you really. Oh, wow. Really much. Damn it. It's so gratuitous. Uh, better and that dude's got chopped off, too. Do they just do that on a regular basis? Seems I'll like they do. Back and they get you back on. Someone rang the doorbell? What just happened? 
Where'd the hell go? Oh. I'm out of here. Something in the dirt. There's nothing in the dirt. You see how it normal dirt? Heavily. Okay, heavily. Can you give me my gun, please? What? Out before dinner was done. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good Jack. Hey. Oh. Off, right? Hang on. Look out, Jack. She ever saw in you. Did you snap my neck? Jack, I will not accept that sort of treatment at the dinner table. Do you see what I'm dealing with here? Do you see the kind of horror? Have you ever seen anything like that in a video game? There's no escape. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I've got a hatch key. And where's the hatch, huh? That's all I want. Is the hatch in here? Is that is that a hatch? Yes. Okay. Give me the dang key, alright, Jack? I don't want any trouble. Get the heck out of my way. The hatch key. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't just rush in. Out before dinner was done. I found you. I found you. Get the heck out of here. I found the, I found the hatch. I'm leaving. I'm going to the hatch. So you can just find it. Someone else. I mean, it was Jack. Oh, I was going to back here. About you. Creepy dinner parties. What do we do? Open this door.
fence. And And we are going to call episode two right there because, guys, that was way too freaky for me. I am, I, 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 like, I need a break. I need a break after that. That was so high, high tension. I've made it to a safe room. Who knows what's going to happen after this. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time in episode three. I hope you guys see now I'm for real, um, what I'm, what I'm willing to do, the, the depths I'm willing to fight, the monsters I'm willing to run away from to do what needs to get done to make this series to share with you guys for it. just just to create cool stuff anyway anyway I'll see you guys in episode three to be continued thanks for watching this episode which is episode two we'll see you all in the next episode which is as I said episode will be as I said episode three Thank <laughs> you.